so after being patient for a little too long riot strikes again you might have heard the news and thought it might be rumors but unfortunately it's all true Muntun is yet again sued by the Riot Games for balance coping their stuff and this time Riot has a little too many proofs in hand Hi guys Kazuki here and in this video we will uncover all the claims and complaints Riot has filed against MLBB developers Muntun This is the document the Riot filed against Muntun It's a list of all the claims and proofs Riot presented to the court Let's take a look at them while we discuss them. Right of the very start of the complaints, Riot fires a massive shot at Moontoon, saying Moontoon's strategy is balance coping. Whatever Riot releases in their LOL Wild Rift mobile games, Moontoon straight up copies that saying it's theirs now. Later on in the document Riot does present all the proofs of copying their ideas and implementation we will take a look at all in a few the dean in the fourth and fifth point say this isn't the first time Riot has discovered Moontoon's copying tactics and has once in the past already filed the copyright case against them but that was not enough Moontoon continues to copy and do slight tweaks in their new edition in the game claiming they are their own. Not to stop here, Riot also has said even the players have been discussing this for too long now using the words like copycat, shameless rip off and many others. Even then Moontoon is continue to copy stuff from Wild Rift that they previously missed. However, the claims this time are not just related to the game. Riot claims Moontoon has copied promotional materials from trailers and even used music which was the Riot's creation. The music copied by Moontoon was from Riot's Welcome to the Planet URF in their All Star 2022 sports video. We will not play it as we don't want to get sued either, but links will be available. Riot has said Moontoon is watching them carefully. and making every possible move to steal whatever they can from Riot's creation so these were the complaints let's head on to the proofs riot presented against moontoon to make their case more strong the first thing was the logo itself both league of legends and mobile legends used to have title text about the structure or background which was then replaced with just the title text this was the first proof by riot against moontoon in this claim as not only the title design but also the colors are almost identical as if they are copied moving forward these are claims that moontoon even copies the design aesthetics from the hero section when taking a look at all heroes and even the part where you can customize your hero the screenshot earlier showed the list of heroes screen while this one shows how similar the hero customization screen is other major claims include one of the newest addition to the MLBB the Gniver Cynic Oracle skin which is a straight up rip off of Ares KDA skin from League of Legends. Many other characters seems to be exact twin in a different game. For example, Jake from LOL and MLBB Glue are too similar. The LOL's dark cosmic gen is a bit too similar to MLBB's Yiv or is it the other way around? MLBB Yiv also have a very strong resemblance to LOL's Dark Star Thresh and Dark Star Zareth. Well, two people cannot have the same concept, but having a very similar splay shot isn't going to prove MLBB not coping. That was not limited here. Brom from LOL and Bakshi skin are a bit similar too. Clothes, hairstyle, muscle, and even the dame mustache. Everything is same. 
Similarly, MLBB Lifeguards Penny and LOL's Pool Party Fiora are once again not very different. Wish things ended there, but almost all of the MLBB Summer Dress skin collection are a bit too similar to the league's aspects like the LOL's Pool Party Graves and MLBB Sun and Saint Clint. Or Pool Party Joe from League and Sundress Nana from MLBB. Even Jarvan Fourth from League and Jilong from MLBB. Not very different in terms of art. Even some of the epic skins of MLBB shows a huge resemblance to some of the League's skins. Like Leona's skin from LOL is similar to MLBB's Erythel Epic skin. Even Lancelot Hero skin from MLBB is similar to Leona's skin. Riot mentioned release date of those skins to give clear indication that they were the first and MLBB did nothing but steal the design concept. Wish things ended there but Alice, MLBB's light bona Lucard is almost similar to Garen from LOL. Even the weapon design and pose are the same in the splash art. Other heroes like MLBB, YSS and Wild Rift Ash have too much in common. This can also be said from Wild Rift Sync and MLBB's Roger. To make everything worse, MLBB decided to steal the name Stargazer which was an initial concept of the skin from LOL. And MLBB made their version of it but forgot to change what they copied. The staff of Sicilian from MLBB Stargazer is too much identical to one of the original staff's design from the Wild Rift Stargazer skin series. But to all demise, the skin and splash art are just the thing claimed here. The recent MLBBs choose target interfaces are too similar to that of Wild Rift. Given Wild Rift was the one to introduce them, MLBB get the take of the copier in this aspect too. The fans and people from the community have been making comments on these topics for a long time. Riot mentioned a few of them in their claims which are below. At the end of the document, but maybe not at the end of this discussion, MLBB has been reported to have copied marketing and promotional materials as well. The welcome to the plane URF is the major one, but there are others too. Like the Runetra trailer and Paquito's trailer are just too similar in this concept. Even the Silas trailer and Teresla trailer are just too common. LOL's Pool Party Series trailer and MLBB Summer Splash trailer are a tad too same as well. Given most of the skin inside, these series were claimed to be the same too. Riot's still isn't done. They claim that Moontoon used the same logo and design aesthetics for promotion as they have done in the past. Mimicking Riot's Road to the Glory, below are the examples related to it. Last but not the least, Riot claims MLBB has also stolen the idea of customized sneaker by using the same gold font placed on the same part of the Nike sneaker. So these were all the claims filed. I will provide the whole document for you so you can take a close and detailed look at all them. What do you feel about these? Has MLBB gone too far? Or do you feel a little similarity isn't enough to have such huge claim on them? Let us know down below. Thank you for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.